And uh, today is the third day of this session, and I would like to I would like to start about what we are going to cover uh, today uh, regarding the online training on FPSS twenty seven. Uh, today is 7th March 2024. Uh, the time is 4 p.m. to 4.40 p.m. Myself, Zahid Vashi, as a faculty member in the Department of Commerce, University of Gujarat, and a PhD scholar at Heli College of Commerce, University of Punjab, Lahore. So uh, today, what we have done previously, we have done understanding of the screen layout and tools, and we have also done uh, the understanding of different menu bars previously. So uh, we are going to cover the next part uh, as follows. We have covered the basic environment and layout. We have covered the data management. And today we will discuss overview of a survey questionnaire and its types, uh, code book creation and data entry. And still we need so uh, let's start uh, today's training session, which is the third day actually. Overview of a questionnaire and its component and administration. Uh, types of a questionnaire like open-ended versus close-ended and adopted versus adapted. Uh, and code book creation, which is an important part uh, for data entry. So code book kaise create or hai aur uh, kis tarah se aap, uh, 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 how 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 you uh, enter your data uh, we will we will uh, discuss in detail so uh, let me let me tell you about what is a survey questionnaire a survey questionnaire is a structured type or set of questions when when you are uh, basically considering uh, a structured set of questions designed to gather specific information from respondent for the purpose of research, data collection, or analysis. It is a common tool used in various fields such as market research, social science, psychology, and business tool to collect quantitative and qualitative data. It means uh, through a survey questionnaire, you can collect uh, quantitative data as well as qualitative data. So uh, the purpose of uh, a questionnaire is, is to collect your data, whether it is quantitative or qualitative. But uh, we will focus on uh, the quantitative uh, survey questionnaire only. So uh, what are the components of a survey questionnaire? There are four components of a survey questionnaire. Uh, first is the introduction section that provide information about the purpose of the survey. Why are you conducting that survey? Uh, it also uh, assures the anonymity and confidentiality and instruction for completing the questionnaire. If you uh, would provide any type of instruction, if you, if you want to assure the respondent about the anonymity and confidentiality, you may discuss it in introduction section of that questionnaire. Then there is a demographic uh, part of that questionnaire, uh, which asks about respondent characteristics such as uh, his or her age, gender, education level, occupation, income, etc. So these demographic detail help in analyzing the data in relation to different subgroups. So the third part is basically the main survey questionnaire, uh, where you would like to ask what you are uh, planned uh, to collect as a data collection from that survey. So these questions from form the core of questionnaire and are designed to collect the specific information or opinion required for research objectives. They can be open-ended, uh, which would allow the respondent to freely express their thoughts, or it may be close-ended, which provide the predefined responses. Uh, options such as multiple choice, Likert scale, or rating scale. So uh, a survey questionnaire might be open-ended or close-ended. Uh, if, if you are uh, going to use uh, qualitative data or if you would like to collect qualitative data, it is most recommended to use open-ended survey questionnaire. But if, if you would like to use uh, 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 quantitative data or if you would like to collect the quantitative data, it is it is recommended to use close-ended survey questionnaire. Uh, then there is a closing section uh, that typically includes the thank you message, uh, 
uh, whenever you collect data from some respondent, uh, he may uh, he may uh, allocate his or her time for responding to your questionnaire. So uh, it is a time that, uh, as a closing statement, you need to thank uh, your respondent uh, 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 as a as a as a uh, gesture of gratitude uh, that how he has or she has. Uh, allocated his or her time to respond to your survey. So these are the components of a questionnaire. Uh, next, I would like to uh, I, I I would like to uh, discuss the next part. All right, uh, I was discussing about uh, the components of a survey questionnaire. There are four components uh, as I have previously discussed. Uh, it is introduction, demographic questions. Uh, main survey question and closing terms. Now, uh, you need to understand why uh, we basically use questionnaire for data collection and what sort of options do we have in order to administer a survey questionnaire. We can, we can administer survey uh, questionnaire through online survey. It means we can collect data through online means we can collect uh, survey data through paper-based survey, which is a traditional method uh, where you where you take prints of uh, uh, survey and you basically uh, uh, collect data hand-to-hand uh, uh, -hand, uh, and physically uh, from your respondents. Then you may have another category, which is known as telephone interviews. Uh, if if uh, due to any reason, uh, the person from which you want to collect data, if, if it cannot be, if, if that person cannot be accessed face to face, uh, you can also contact him or her uh, using the telephone and you can conduct interview uh, through the telephone. You can record your telephone or your mobile uh, communication uh, as an interview and you can uh, transform that uh, recordings into some useful information by composing it. Then face-to-face -face interview is there, which is also another category of qualitative data. Then there is a mailed questionnaire. Sometimes you uh, send emails uh, to your respondents uh, to get some sort of uh, particular information related to some survey questionnaire. Uh, so the design and format of the questionnaire should be carefully crafted to ensure that it is clear and unbiased. It should be easy actually uh, the survey questionnaire should be easy enough that the uh, respondent may be able to grasp what you are uh, trying to uh, uh, what you are trying to ask from the respondent. So it should be easy. It should be unbiased. It should be uh, capable of uh, uh, eliciting accurate responses from the target audience. Uh, the uh, most important thing is. Uh, you need to pre-test the questionnaire with small sample of respondents. Uh, never start uh, collecting data directly. Always start with a small uh, sample of respondents and take their uh, feedback regarding the quality of the questionnaire, whether it is a good questionnaire, whether the uh, statement of the questionnaire are easy and understandable so that uh, the respondent can easily provide their responses. So this is a very important concern. So in case uh, if the small uh, group of uh, people uh, give feedback that these statements are uh, not good, uh, so you need to change those statements. And when the people are agree that these statements are easy to understand, then you, you should proceed further. So there are basically four types of uh, questionnaire or survey questionnaire, there are four types. Uh, first is the categorization on the basis of open-ended versus closed-ended. Uh, previously, I have uh, elaborated that open-ended survey questionnaire is used when you want to collect qualitative data. The respondent is free to provide responses. Uh, there is no length. There is no uh, basically uh, time limit, there is no basically word limit, uh, whatever uh, he or she would be, uh, would feel uh, appropriate, he will provide uh, the response uh, in, 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 in a subjective way. 
uh, uh, whether they respond um, whether the response is too much lengthy or not uh, in case of close ended it is a quantitative data collection where you provide predefined uh, questions and predefined answers like uh, you provide a question and you provide some uh, options uh, in the mcqs format and uh, the respondent need to choose uh, any one option uh, from the given option uh, then it is a close ended survey questionnaire in case of open ended uh, there is no restriction uh, the respondent can provide whatever uh, response he or she may think uh, would be appropriate for that particular questionnaire. So open-ended survey questionnaire in open-ended questions, respondent are free to provide their own answer without being constrained by predefined responses options. These questions typically, typically begin with the phrases like, what do you think about, or please describe your experience. So respondent can uh, provide uh, as many words or as many lines, whatever he or she may think would be appropriate for that question uh, open ended question allow for qualitative data co collection always remember when you have uh, when you have to provide open ended answers it means uh, the researcher is basically collecting qualitative data so open ended survey questionnaire is for uh, qualitative data. so en enabling respondent to provide detailed and non responses in their own words they are useful for exploring new topics. Uh, normally, uh, qualitative research is done when the topic has no backing uh, in the literature or in uh, the empirical sense. You are going to conduct uh, a study which is unique, uh, which is uh, you are going to do for the first time or uh, uh, before you, uh, no one has done that type of study, then you need to do a qualitative uh, uh, data collection. So in case of open-ended, you are going to collect a data which is unique, which is new. Uh, however, analyzing open-ended responses can be time consuming. There are some software I am also conducting uh, uh, training uh, 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 arrangements with uh, NVivo software. Basically, NVivo software is used for uh, uh, open-ended questionnaires or qualitative data. Next is uh, close-ended survey questionnaire. As I have uh, told you that you must provide predefined responses options uh, where the respondent need to choose from those predefined response options. This would be either in the form of multiple choice questions, like good skills item, rating scales, yes or no, uh, et cetera. The respondent cannot provide his or her own uh, lengthy responses. He just need to choose what is given to him or her. So close-ended questionnaire facilitate quantitative data collection. Always remember that all open-ended questionnaire facilitate qualitative data collection, while the close-ended questionnaire uh, facilitate the quantitative data collection. So making it easier to analyze and quantify responses. So uh, for, for the purpose of uh, quantitative data analysis, uh, SPSS, AMOS, SMART TLS are used, while for the purpose of, for the purpose of qualitative data, and Vivo is basically used. Uh, then uh, what, what we can summarize, uh, we can summarize that in case of open-ended survey questionnaire, uh, survey allow for free form responses and qualitative data collection while close ended survey questionnaire provide predefined response option and facilitate qualitative data collection. The choice between open ended and close ended question depends upon the research objective, the desired level of detail in responses and the detailed resources available for data collection. Then there is another cat category which is known as adapted versus adapted questionnaire. When you have finalized that you are going to use open-ended or close-ended questionnaire, you need to uh, you need to have an understanding of what is adapted and what is adopted. These are basically the subcategory of close-ended questionnaire. In case of open-ended, your questionnaire is unique. It means you are going to ask uh, the questions which are not asked by the previous researcher. But in case of uh, adopted versus adapted uh, format of a survey questionnaire, it is basically the close-ended uh, uh, subcategory. 
of questionnaire. So in case of adapted questionnaire, uh, it is an instrument, it is a research instrument or a questionnaire which is developed by someone else and you are going to use it uh, with minor modification or without any modification. It means you are going to use a survey questionnaire of someone else. You are not adding anything in that questionnaire. So this is adapted questionnaire. So what is adapted? A-D-A-P-T-E-D. -E there, is, there is a little confusion about the wording. Adopted A-D-O-P-T-E-D. Adopted. Adopted means you are adopting a questionnaire uh, from someone else and you are not going to modify anything or you have a minor modification in some of the statements. While in case of adapted, A-D-A-P-T-E-D, -E uh, in case of adapted questionnaire, you may have a significant modification. It means most of the part you basically uh, change uh, in that questionnaire as per your requirement. So these are the two categories of questionnaire. Uh, I hope you will understand in case of adapted questionnaire, it is uh, you are going to use someone else questionnaire without significant modification. While in case of adapted questionnaire, A-D-A-P-T-E-D, uh, you are going to change uh, major parts of that questionnaire as per the requirement of your study. Uh, the next thing is basically the code book. What is the code book? Code book is basically the manual that provides detailed information about variable in a data set and the codes assigned to different categories or responses within these those variables. So it serves as a reference guide for researchers, analysts, or anyone working with the data set to understand the structure, content, coding scheme used in the data. It may include variable name value labels and variable definition and level of measurement. So uh, in case of code book, we, we have the coding scheme of our particular variable. So I hope uh, you have understand the basics of uh, the questionnaire design, uh, how we are going to conduct it. I would like to show you uh, a questionnaire and the code book for your reference and for your understanding. Let me show you. Uh, Rabia, uh, when uh, ever uh, I, uh, I complete this uh, particular video, uh, um, I am going to discuss uh, the uh, part of questionnaire that I enter tomorrow. So just have a look how a questionnaire is looks like. You may have seen uh, these type of questionnaire. This is close-ended questionnaire because predefined uh, options are provided to answer these questionnaires. So this is close-ended questionnaire. And you, you can see a lot of uh, demographic answers they may have asked. And there are a statement regarding some questions they have asked and they have used a uh, five-point like, like a scale for measuring those responses. So these, these, these are basically uh, the questionnaire format. And this is basically the code book you can see here, how they have, uh, how the researcher has coded the data, for example, relevant to gender, how he has coded the male and how he has coded the female, how he has coded the age, he has coded the age in years, how he has coded the marital status uh, in the following format. So code book basically provides the codes that how particular variable is coded. So uh, tomorrow we will continue from here and we will discuss further. Uh, 